please excuse the messy background but it is the evening time and the sun is shining way too brightly through my window where i normally film and so it's creating lots of darkness we gotta do it this way anyways hi hello welcome if you're new here subscribe give it a thumbs up if you enjoy check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of youtube facebook instagram or twitter follow me over there for all my extra vape stuff giveaways i also chat with you guys on twitter post to instagram story all day every day i have a second youtube channel that link will be in the description box below as well where i do non-vape related videos also my patreon account with vape related monthly rewards check the description box below for all the goodies let's get into the video don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol this video is kind of already a hot mess. I have never looked at anything from Vandy Vape before that I can think of. It says full steam ahead. Anyways, this is the Jackaroo. Oh, your guess is as good as mine, guys. All right, let's get into it. I just have the mod here that I got from directvapor.com. Oh, they really don't want anyone getting into these. 50 years later, I finally got the box open. Ooh, so pretty. Let's see what else it comes with. There's a little accessory box here on the side and then there's some more stuff behind it we have an allen wrench and a spare o-ring a quality certificate a proper use guide a warranty card and the user's manual in the accessory box it's probably just a charge cord it is just a charge cord this is like a heavy duty mod at the top we have the 510 connection a giant fire button a screen regulatory up and down buttons and we have this plastic peel off love that on the bottom we have the battery compartment so you just pull this little thing out and then you can use that to twist it open and there's something in here i don't know what's in here but it's like moving around this must be an adapter piece that's what that is so you can use a 2700 battery a 21700 battery or you can use this adapter and use an 18650 battery, which is what we're gonna do today. This feels like an indestructible mod. All right, got that in there and the screen turned on automatically. That's nice, it shows the voltage, the ohms, the output mode and the output level, a puffs counter, a seconds counter, the battery life percentage and a little lock and unlock symbol. And you know what we're gonna put on this today and I didn't even plan this and it matches perfectly is my profile unity RTA. Look at that drip tip and then look at the color of the, what? What? They match perfectly. It's like they were made for each other. Were they? No, they're two different companies. One is Wotofo and this is Vandy Vape. <laughs> this is awesome, all right. Reading it at 0.12 ohms, which I believe it's 1.3. So you can adjust the power level like so if you press and hold the plus and minus button together you will enter the menu mode and then you can use the up and down arrows to toggle through when it is in wattage mode it goes from 5 to 100 watts and when in wattage don't go any lower than 0.05 ohm and no higher than 3 ohm and it does have auto recognize for the coil and then auto adjust your wattage depending on what the mod thinks you should vape it at if you press all three buttons at the same time plus minus and power it turns off the screen it has temperature control mode 200 degrees fahrenheit to 600 degrees fahrenheit or 100 degrees celsius to 315 degrees celsius and in tc mode no lower than 0.05 ohm and no higher than one ohm if you press the plus button and the power button at the same time you will lock it press and hold again to unlock no wonder i thought this was indestructible it's shockproof waterproof and dustproof if you press the plus and minus button twice you can say new or old coil, so it'll read the coil. It's the NLS function, which is rereading the coil. Another thing I noticed is there is no micro USB port. Weird, there's venting holes at the top though. I just wanna vape it, but this has like such an intricate um, menu options and stuff. If you press and hold the plus and minus button, you will enter the menu mode. So this is the settings for like variable voltage, temperature control, um, different things like that. but we also have the DIY options. You have one through five, so you can, this is the screen brightness, screen timeout, puffs reset, version of software, chip ID, and back. So within that settings mode, when you turn on variable voltage mode, bypass mode, TC mode, when you turn all those on, which I have all of those on, you just press the fire button three times. So one, two, three. Then you can see that the P for power is flashing. You can toggle through your different temperature control modes and your bypass mode 
all of that good stuff. And it does have TCR mode, so you just access that when you're in TC mode. You access the menu and go to the little settings thing, and I go like this because it's like a what a wrench and a screwdriver. But anyways, I want to vape this sucker. I have it at 69 watts, which might be too high. We'll see. I mean, actually, maybe I don't, I don't know. We'll do it. Let's try this. Let's go. This mod, ooh, God's bitch. This mod is very heavy and I would only imagine it being so much more heavier with a 2700, 21700 battery. Like this is a working man mod. Or working woman, we don't discriminate on this channel. Clouds, bitch. You see these totes? Full to the brim with the e-liquid. All right. That mod's pretty cool as far as like all of the intricate little adjustments you can make and the fact that it is just heavy duty. So if that's the kind of mod you're looking for, then this one would be for you. But it, I mean like it doesn't have a USB port. So I don't know why they included a micro USB to USB cord and I don't know why in the user manual it says you can upgrade the firmware. I did get this at directvapor.com and I got this at directvapor.com and for some reason they just match freaking perfectly. So if you're interested in checking it out, that's where you can go. If you have this mod or want to try this mod, what do you think about this mod? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.